Earlier on in the broadcast, we talked about the Orchard Avenue fire, which our tower cam is still picking up on. But cameras across the state line are picking up a bunch of sunshine. And of course, with that, our Rock River Kia Max Storm Tracker is clear as can be. Now, the only issue with today has to do with it being a bit windy, as current wind speeds are anywhere between 17, even up to 26 miles per hour from the west. And since it's a westerly breeze, we're not really picking up any sort of moisture or even some warmer temperatures. So we're currently sitting decently comfortable at 53 dew points though are on the very low end at 26 kind of gives us an idea of where we're going to head as we go overnight with those clear skies. I think we'll top out near 55 56 degrees here today and not a bad day to go out to the sniffle or the sniff dog park. But when it comes to sniffling, well, that might be because our tree pollen is on the higher end. Mold is on the moderate end as well. But really, when it comes to our green friends, well, they're giving us a little bit of issues here for us with the pollen, but our weather will be giving them a little bit of issues as we head overnight as frost and freeze could potentially happen with lows bottoming out below that freezing mark. So if you have any sort of plants, you may want to bring them inside or at least put a cover on them. Now, as we head into Saturday, we could see a few more clouds from time to time. I do think Timecast is overdoing it just a little bit. I think it'll be more partly cloudy, still seeing some strong wind gusts, though. I think anywhere between 20, even 25 miles per hour are possible tomorrow. So you'll still need your windbreaker as our winds are going to be from the northwest, limiting again how warm we get as highs are in the lower 50s as we head oh, as we head into Sunday another day filled with just an abundance of sunshine and winds again are going to be on the stronger side seeing them from the north and west and with these well, it's actually going to be a bit of a warmer day as we do have a bit of a ridge making its way across the United States. So it's going to be a lot nicer on Sunday, a high of 61 degrees. But we do have those frost risks for Friday night, Saturday night and Sunday night as well. Monday, we see a high of 64 degrees, a few more clouds from time to time. Our next rain chance comes on Tuesday with a high of 60 before quickly the sunshine returns, a high of 59 Wednesday and 58 on Thursday. Live pictures outside. It is our Eldridge Roofing River Cam, again, just showing some beautiful sunshine. So if you want to get outside this coming weekend, well, you'll probably need a windbreaker to help with the winds. But otherwise, you also need your suntan lotion because it is going to be bright and sunny. Oh man, first taste of summer here coming up shortly. I know it's yeah, we got a whole a lot of cooler. sunshine. It's a little bit colder, but it's nice to see maybe those elements coming back in to remind us that we are stepping into summer here very shortly. So yeah, that we are. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for that. DJ.